Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. And I had a few folks ask me how to change the coloring on the African American Kids bonus you get when you get the upgrade to Niran Jan's Word Puzzle Generator. So I thought I would show you. Now I use Photoshop, but I know a lot of folks don't have it. So you can go to photop.com. It's Photoshop basically online. It doesn't quite have as many features as Photoshop does, but for this, it's it does the trick. So I'll show you what I, what I do with it. All right. Now, see, this is one of the um, kids, right? So what you're going to want to do is go to over here. You'll see this here. You might have this up, so it'll look a little bit different. But you'll want to come here, click on that, select the magic wand tool, okay? Once you've done that, click in the areas you want to recolorize, recolor okay? So I want to do her skin, right? So anywhere that color is, I'm going to click in there. When you're choosing a whole bunch of places, just hold down your shift key and click, and it'll keep all the selections there, okay? So I'm going to choose all of her skin, okay? Now once you've done that, just hit delete on your keyboard, all right? So that makes her transparent. Don't let go of the selection. Leave the selection there, okay? Next, you're going to come up to select and then go over to modify, expand, and I expand it by, by three pixels, all right? Click on OK. Then you're going to come over here to your layer palette and you're going to click on the layer. So that adds a layer here. Now you want to drag the kid on top of that layer or drag that one down, might be easier. There we go. OK, so now make sure you're on the empty layer. OK, and you're going to want to add color to this. So what you're going to do. Just come over here and you're going to click on the color picker. You'll see a little color thing here. I've already chosen a color and I'm going to use this one, but you choose any color you like and play around and see what you get. Okay, so I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to go to my Alt key, hold that down, and then hit the backspace key. There you go. So it fills her with color. Now, if you want to add some shadow, some depth, uh, you can go to the layer, double click on it. That's going to bring up your layer style palette. Now, normally if I'm working with skin tones, if I don't want them flat, I'm going to use the inner shadow and the inner glow. Okay, and see what that does? It makes it lighter and you can play around with that. Okay, so if you click on inner glow here, you'll see that you can add noise. I don't usually play with that. I'll play with the spread, the size more, depending on what I want. So if I bring the size of the glow down, it will change it. See, it goes a little bit flatter and it's a little bit more one colored. So I want to add a bit more there, right? Because I like the, uh, it kind of gives it some detail. And I'll leave the spread at zero. And the inner shadow, let's see, it doesn't see it it gives it a bit more depth if I click on it again see how it changes that a bit and again just play <coughs> I usually leave the distance and the spread at zero and I play with the size of it to see what I like see if you bring it up it's going to bring more of that color and you can change the color of your shadow I, I used her hair as a as a shadow right you can just click anywhere when you have this up and I don't like it that dark. I don't want that much definition. So I'm going to bring it maybe to 60. Okay. And that's it. And I click outside to release the selection. And now you've got a different tone of skin. So you can do that um, with pretty much anything. Now, the bonus kids you get uh, in the upgrade, okay, um, are flat. The colors are flat. So they're easy to select. So 
say I want to change her again from this, right? So when you click inside, well, it's not too bad. If you keep the tolerance is at 16, so that's not bad. I guess you could do like 100 and see what happens. See up here, tolerance, that'll tell you how, tell your magic wand how much to select, how sensitive to be. So if I do 100, that's fine. So it should work okay either way. Let's just see what it does. Okay. If I fill it in again. Yeah. So that works too. So you can just play around with it. Um, I would suggest taking uh, your image, right, and coming over here. I don't know if you can duplicate it on here. I'm not sure how that works. I usually duplicate my images before I stop start working on them so that I always have a have a copy a proper copy right but I mean you can do that too so you just don't save her until you're you're good with her and then you can go to file and save or export as a PNG and give it a different name so you'll have your original file so I hope this helps and you can change the colors as much as you like. Totally up to you. Once you have the bonus, it's yours. Make it yours. Make it unique. All right. Uh, talk to you soon.